All right, everybody, what is going on? It's not. Welcome back to another episode of Escape Simulator. Today, we're going to go adrift in space as we start looking at the spaced themed levels. So we're going to kick things off with Emergency Awakening here. So let's see uh, how different the uh, space themed levels are in comparison to the, uh, the other ones. Oh, boy, this is uh, certainly something... Uh, is floating. We don't appear to have much gravity, so that's uh, going to be interesting, to say the least. Zen 7, I wonder if that's a clue to something. Trophy here. We necessarily need to use. Alright, what do we need to do then? That'll be the hint system. We've got a wrench. Which, um, ha, if you look, there's a, this. Pineshire Laboratories. I saw that instantly and thought of uh, Aperture and the, uh, the actual actually a pentagon shaped um, uh, spanner, wrench, whatever you want to call it. Which was quite interesting. Um, but yeah, it's uh, kind of got the, um, the Aperture kind of logo kind of thing all around it. So, anywho, let's um, continue to take a look here. What we've got, we've got some mugs. We've got a book. Can we open the book? We can indeed. The Moon Voyage. Really tell me a lot though. Moment. Have a tablet here. Stop power to the emergency compartment. Ah, okay. Uh, emergency compartment marked with the um, power. There is that one. I'm not sure where that one. Anyway, um, the power diverting system uses a dial that diverts power to its endpoints. Depending on your situation, the following needs to be connected. Fire. D, sub -C D subsystem needs power. Flood. E system needs power. Loss of gravity. Okay, so we've lost the gravity. F system needs power. At the same time, subsystems A, B, C need to be connected. They provide power to the rest of the system. Pull the lever to activate the system. If everything was set up correctly, you the power and desired system will be activated in five seconds. Okay, so we do A, B, C, and F. But I haven't seen anything to of pull at the moment. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so spanner. Okay, so we need to do. A, B, it's A, B, D. A, B, C, F, we need. I think there is one, only one F though, isn't there? Let me just, um, just see if I can't unpin that a minute. It said unpin. Okay. Okay, so we definitely need F. So it's, yes, that, that's it. That's that one there. Pull the lever. And everything drops back down to earth. Alright, excellent. Let's get going, shall we? Briefcase. Which has some items in it. Oh, what? Harmonica. Or the captain. Okay, there's some numbers on here. This might be of relevance. There is a digital pen. Hello, captain. Uh, seven. Uh, wasn't it Odin seven? I think it was Odin seven. No, Zen seven. Uh, okay. So we've got seven. It's definitely a seven on the rocket. I think that's what we need to take from that, isn't it? Uh, that's the moon book again. They're all the same book. This guy must like the uh, 
just like that book and so many copies of it got a battery which and we've also got love you to the moon and back Alrighty then, in here, got another tablet, okay, so let's, um, let's have a look at this one, in the case of all my phone ship is equipped, uh, la la la, left door, each room contains a special tool to open it, the mechanism has the following states, red, EDM, sensor malfunction, orange, EDM is active but requires more power supply with using battery, green, the door can now be unlocked, attachment A, the PC can be used to activate the overrides in the room control software you're required to press door icon five times and the protocol will activate it. Ah, okay. So it's, I mean, it's red. So there's a malfunction. There is a tool there, right? We need a triangle kind of space uh, shaped tool. Toolbox. A triangle shaped tool. Oh, wait a minute. It's, there we go. So, um, activate emergency protocol. Activate the emergency protocol. Did it tell me? Probably did. Okay, there's another one of our things there. Look, we've got Odin. So, let's just go back to here. It's Odin 7. And... Not sure about the actual... The other thing there. Um, left of the door. Each room contains a special tool. The mechanism has a phone, so it's red. So it's a sensor malfunction. So we need to activate the... We need to activate the... Um, console first. That's basically what we, we need to do. So we need to find... Robo toy. Hold on, I need too much sound up here. I can't hear what it's saying. Is the red violets are green? Is that what that said? Okay. Um, sure. There's a screw there. I don't think I need the screw. Definitely need the battery. first tablet which we've used. Don't need any more. Where else? Is there any more panels or anything to open here? Wait. I mean, these look like keys, right? Is somebody holding something somewhere? Almost looks like it's um, somebody would be holding, right? Square, and we've got a screwdriver. Any other panels we can look at here that we can maybe open up? I don't know. Um, we've got a square screwdriver. I don't know who's that. No? Hmm. 
Where do I find this information from, I wonder? Oh my goodness, I missed it. Completely missed it. Wow. Which is dummy. Okay, so we've done that. Now we need to do what? Please can use Advaya Ride in the room software. You are required to press the door icon five times. Okay, emergency protocol activated. Now it's in there. So now we need batteries. So. These two here. And I wonder if we can use this corroded one. Just the gravity, right? Where might we be able to get another battery from? Anything on the rocket? No. Is there a way we can clean the battery up, maybe? I mean, it doesn't look particularly healthy, I'll be honest. The battery in the digital pen? No. in the headphones. Nope. I have that in my inventory. Must be a way to clean this up. Not seeing anything else. Sneaky. Wow. Um, <laughs> I just happened to see something like underneath the um, underneath the sofa there. We literally had a minute left. We only had a minute left, but um, OK, so it looks like we're going to continue to like, have these um, smaller rooms in this space section. So, um, yeah, that's quite interesting um, that we're not like working on a bigger scale. So yeah all of the puzzles again i guess are going to be like quite um small and compact so yeah i'm really interested to uh, carry on playing this game as i am having lots of fun with it so guys thank you very much for watching as always 
like and stuff down below, whatever you guys normally do on the videos. And um, yeah, we're back with some more Escape Simulator real soon. But until then, I'll be knocking you in awesome. Stay safe, take care. Happy gaming.